it's July 2nd, 2013, and this is the SNM Network. Hello and welcome to the SNM Network. I'm Colin Cosell coming to you from the Moscow International Airport. Damn it, Edward Snowden. No, I don't want any more Tobler. Oh, vodka? Yes. Okay. Mmm, <laughs> Ruska. We begin this week with entertainment news. As the buttery butterball of butter purveyors, Butter Dean, uh, wait, no, that's a, sorry, Paula Dean had a little <laughs> butter stroke there. Uh, she was fired by the Food Network as well as Walmart and nearly everyone else for dropping the N-bomb. Mm. Though, ironically, wow. she was not chastised by Donald Trump, who actually tweeted words of support. That is true. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Well, it's a Donald. Uh, with more on the story is Twitter porter Courtney, that's nicely spelled Courtney, who notes... Paula Deen's cookware is being discontinued and will be available for discount prices on Black Friday. Actually, Courtney, nowadays we just call it Friday. But we salute Paula for her consistency. Creamy, bigoted, slow churn consistency. (laughs) Can't feel my left arm, y'all. Now, it might be in poor taste to make a joke about someone shooting off their racist mouth, so why not make a joke about someone shooting off their racist gun? This was the case with George Zimmerman's lawyer, Don West, who started a murder trial with a knock-knock joke. (laughs) Seriously. And then he farted into his hand and threw it towards the prosecution. (laughs) Probably. Anyway, Twitter's R. Clow countered with, knock-knock, who's there? Malpractice. (laughs) It's not bad, Rick, but uh, come on. We gotta admit that Don West's joke killed <laughs> That's definitely too soon. A year later, it's still too soon. <laughs> Moving on to politics, where the Texas State Senate decided to bypass the blacks and gays for a change and go right for women's abortion rights. Ooh. Nice job, Texas. Thanks to a half day of filibustering by Senator Wendy Davis, the Democrats managed to <clears throat> shut the whole thing down. Oh. <laughs> Jeez, we are really inappropriate this week. With the aftermath is Bearded Stoner, nice name, who tweeted... Wendy Davis vows to fight with every fiber to stop abortion bill. Texas GOP counters with bill to ration sources of fiber. (laughs) We've also received word that the Texas GOP is planning to place limits on filibustering, red uh, running shoes, and women speaking out of turn, (laughs) y'all. Just don't listen. From women's rights to gay rights, the Supreme Court, which, by the way, is just like a normal court, but you add sour cream to it. Yeah. <laughs> Buck 99 at Taco Bell. Anyway, they shot down both DOMA and Prop 8, allegedly using a unicorn-shaped gun filled with glitter. <laughs> Bang. With proof of how people are going to accept uh, gay marriage is Susie McConnell, who, McDonald, rather, who tweeted, Until today, I defined marriage as between a man and whoever he dated after me. (laughs) Well, Susie, you'll be glad to know that the definition now includes all of the guys who turned gay. (laughs) Stop it. It's now time for Spork. Harumph, harumph. Now with 20% more harumph. Harumph, 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 harumph. That was more than 20%, but I like your thinking. Anyway, the big news this week was that uh, there was an attempt by former New England Patriot Aaron Hernandez to beat O.J. Simpson's record for the most botched crime cover-up ever. (laughs) Somehow he did it. But on the bright side, Twitter's evil Mike Tomlin reports, new Xbox and PlayStation feature will allow you to transfer Aaron Hernandez from Madden to Grand Theft Auto. (laughs) Now, come on, we we know that's inaccurate because there's no tight ends in Grand Theft Auto. Because, you know, hookers. (laughs) That was such a cheap joke. And finally, in sport, Yeah, why not? The Tour de France kicked off, and no one gives a shit. But I'm sorry, that's not true. Disgraced cyclist Lance Armstrong gives a shit, which is why he's also our asshole of the week. So wait, do we hear rump? It's still in sport. Never mind. Uh, Yeah, there it is. Well, according to Facebook's asshole of the day, Lance said the following, I still consider myself the record holder for most Tour de France wins while cheating. (laughs) <laughs> Can you believe the ball on that guy? No. Oh, that was a bad joke, eh? Thanks, sorry. <laughs> Happy Canada today. All right, I got to go drink some of the bats. And that's going to do it for this week's SM Network broadcast. 
Be sure to tune in eventually and see if you are one of our reporters and to contribute, just follow us on Twitter and Facebook and subscribe to us on YouTube. Eh? For all of us at the SM Network, I'm Colin Cosell reminding you to watch what you say because the NSA is. That is fucking cold. <laughs>